This is Code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Challenge C. Select your favorite company logo. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to do Code.org, of course. Decide how you are going to sample the logo using one of the grids in the activity guide. Yes. So you can sketch it out in the guide. Draw the logo. Recreate it on this level. Show it to classmates. All right. So the grid is what I'm going to be doing. And I was thinking since there's, it's going to be four, four. Nope. It needs to be five, five. So it needs to be 11 and 11 because there's going to be lines. Ah, <laughs> there's going to be lines here and here that would be all white. And then the lettering, hopefully. And so I have five to create the first letter. The first line will be all white. One, two. Okay, so that one will be all white. And then, oh no, it should be all dark, duh. And actually, just to get this filled, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste. Okay, except I need a line in the middle. So let's see. Yep, and it should have five on each side. Perfect. Copy. Paste. Paste. I'm just doing command C. Uh, if you're out of back, it's... Uh, or I'm doing control C. If you're out of back, it's command C. Okay. And then right in the center should be here. Yep, this should be all ones. There we are. Now I need to put the letters. So I'm going to have my C here. And one is white. And you can even see it in the code, right? Or in the ones and zeros, the binary. And keep in mind for binary, zero means false or nothing's there. One means true or electricity's there. So one means that the electricity can go over it like a bridge. Zero means it can't. There's just an empty hole. And that's how computers actually work with electricity. So one creates light. It's a cute idea. Okay, this one's going to need the O on it. So one, one, one. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Copy and paste. Just kind of being lazy. One. Cool, I got co. Oh, how am I going to make the D look different than the O? I know how, actually, but I'm going to, hmm, I'm going to steal, nope. So what I'll do is D, and then I'm just going to do this block for to make a D, and so it's like curving inwards, and then the E. going to copy here. Okay. Oh, it's going to be difficult to do an E. It's not really going to look like one. E. Well, it's a bit mushed together. I could add another line, but I am okay with how it is working. If I wanted to real quick, I could just set everything up. So what I need is another two lines up and down. So that would be height. So that would be 13. But if I do that, I'll need another two more for both sides. And what I'm going to do then, and I don't have to do this. These just a bit mushed is I'm going to take this line and go boop and then boop. And then I need to for the E. Zero. Zero. And then for this, I'm going to take the center. All I'm doing is duplicating the center of the item. Boop and boop. And that looks a bit better. Code! Perfect! A little rectangular, but hey, we got it. Onward.